Think flipping houses is a quick ticket to riches? Think again. Before you make a costly mistake, let me show you the 70% rule, your ultimate safety net in the property game. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use this rule to protect your investment and more importantly, your sanity. So what is the 70% rule? Think of it as a safety net. It's a quick formula that helps you figure out the maximum price you should pay for a property to ensure you make a profit. The rule says you should pay no more than 70% of the after repair value, ARV, minus the cost of repairs. Let's break it down with an example. Suppose your ARV is 1 million rand and your estimated repairs will cost 200,000 rand. According to the 70% rule, the maximum you should pay for the property is 70% of 1 million rand, which is 700,000 rand. Subtract 200,000 rand in repairs and your maximum purchase price should be 500,000 rand. Simple, right? But it's a crucial step to ensure you don't end up overpaying and eating into your profits. Now, that's the math. But here in South Africa, the property market can be a bit like a chameleon, always changing colors. One minute hot, the next it's cooling off. That's why it's so important to stay informed about the local market trends. Let me share a quick story. A friend of mine in Johannesburg found what he thought was a gold mine of a property. He followed the 70% rule, but didn't fully account for the real repair cost. What he thought would be a 200,000 rand renovation turned into a 400,000 rand nightmare. He ended up barely breaking even. The lesson, stick to the 70% rule, but always get accurate repair estimates and add a buffer for unexpected surprises. And if you are serious about making your next property move, Visit Property Ask Echo to book my free consultation. Let's chat about how you can make the most of your investment in the South African property market. All right, let's talk about some common mistakes. First up, misjudging the ARV. Overestimating what a property will sell for after repairs is like thinking you can bake a cake without checking if you have all the ingredients. You might end up with a half-baked mess instead of a delicious profit. Next, underestimating repair costs. I've seen people budget for a quick paint job only to find out that the entire electrical system needs to be replaced. Trust me, those surprises can eat into your profit faster than you can say, I should have checked twice. And finally, overpaying for properties. I get it. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of a new deal. But remember, if you pay too much upfront, you are leaving yourself no room for error. And in this game, there will be no errors. So there you have it, the 70% rule. Your ultimate safety net in the wild world of house flipping. Stick to it and you will increase your chances of walking away with a solid profit instead of a costly mistake. Now, before you go, let me tell you, if you are serious about flipping houses in South Africa, there is one more thing you need to know. In my next video, House Flipping South Africa, is it worth it? I will share a story about a flip that almost went south and what saved the day. This could be the difference between your biggest success or a costly mistake. What's your biggest concern about house flipping in South Africa? Let me know in the comments and I will address it in the next video. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Click on the video and see you there. Be a legacy builder and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.